35 years ago, my mother got remarried, had my baby brother Chris, this gargantuan baby. <laughs> like, he was huge. He had this deep voice. And when friends would sleep over, at night at the playpen, you'd hear, I want milk. <laughs> my friends were like, what the hell was that? I'm like, that's my gargantuan little brother, Chris. And like, he grew into like this six foot beast of a man. But like where he excels in sports and weightlifting, he falls short in the common sense area. Like, I'm not gonna say he's dumb. He just doesn't play the tape through all the way before he speaks. Like back in the 90s when Princess Diana died, he came into the room we shared. He's like, dude, did you hear what happened to Princess Diana? I was like, what? He's like, Pavarotti chased her down the motorcycle and killed her. I'm like, Pavarotti? <laughs> then I come home one day, he's all depressed on the bed. I'm like, Chris, what's wrong? He's like, I failed my science test. And I said, I can't play in the football game tonight. I'm like, well, what'd they ask you? He's like, they told me to name the three states that water is found in. I'm like, and you put solid liquid gas? He's like, no. I put Vermont. I put Poland. And I couldn't think of a third. <laughs> Listen, I thought he would have not grown that. <laughs> So we were much younger, but a few weeks ago we were watching the football playoffs and I had a Snapple fact. And I go, Chris, did you know that seals only sleep for a minute and a half at a time? And he looks at me, he's like, Navy seals? He's <laughs> like, oh my God, Chris, you're 35 years old. Get your act together. You're a teacher for Christ's sake. <laughs> He's a gym teacher, he's a gym teacher. We give him a lot of leeway. We give him a lot of leeway. He gets paid to play Frisbee.